He is our shepherd. He is our peace. The Lord heals. The Lord provides. The Lord is always present. That's the names we use. I'm telling you what the names mean. I think revealing his names tells you a whole lot about him. He's everywhere. He's too big to contain. He's with us right now. Now let's go back to that survey as we come to a close. My answer is, do you believe in God? What do you think my answer is? My answer is yes. What does your God do? God can do anything but fail. What kind of power does your God have? He has the power to do anything because the whole world is in his hand. What is your God's name? My God has not one name. He has many names to describe his attributes. Is your God above all other gods? Yes, my God is above all other gods because there is no greater God than him. That's why I take pride in saying I am unapologetically Christian because I stand on the name of Jesus. There's strength in knowing and recognizing the names of God. One last question I have for the people that had all them seven, eight, nine different answers is does your God save? See, because the God that I serve, the Bible says there's no other name under heaven by which men can be saved than the name of Jesus. That's why when I think about Jesus, I have a tendency to kind of go in order. But even when I go in order, I always end up in the book of Revelation. You know, I'm not scared of Revelation. It's just a story. God is telling his children what's going to happen, so we ought to not be scared. We ought to be celebrating. Y'all going to walk with me? See, so I like his Revelation name. His revelation names is in Revelation 1 and 5. He's the firstborn of the day, from the day. In Revelation 1 and 5, he's the highest of the earthly kings. In Revelation 1 and 8, he's the Alpha and Omega. In Revelation 1 and 13, he's the Son of Man. In Revelation 1 and 17, he's the first and the last. In Revelation 2 and 18, he's called the Son of God. In Revelation 4 and 11, the Bible calls him the Creator. And I'm going to tell you, I just got to tell you, one of my favorite names is in Revelation 5 and 5, when they call him the Lion, the tribe of Judah. I like that the Bible calls him the Good Shepherd and the Prince of Peace. I like that in Revelation 19 and 11, it calls him faithful and true. I like in Revelation 19 and 13, it calls him the word of God. In Revelation 19 and 16, it calls him the king of king and lord of lord. I don't know about you, but if y'all haven't noticed through the years, I always end with the name of Jesus. Because there's no other name greater than the name of Jesus. And if you don't know all of the Bible, if you don't know all of the books of the Bible, if you don't know all of the names of the Bible, it's good to know the name of Jesus. It's good to know a name that's above all other names. It's good for you to recognize your name. When you are in school, one of the first things they teach you is how to say, pronounce, and spell your name. So I declare right now that sometimes we need to realize as believers, we need to know the name of the Lord. Y'all don't understand, sometimes what I do is just call the name of Jesus. I love to call the name of Jesus because it reminds me of all the things that he's done for me. He reminds me that he set me free. His name is author and finisher of our faith. His name is bread of life. His name is captain of salvation. His name is the chief cornerstone. So what I do is I got an exercise that I do that sometimes I just walk around saying his name. Somebody might say, what's wrong with that man? It seems like he's talking to 
himself. What's wrong with that man? Who is he talking to? I'm not talking to nobody. I'm just making sure. See, you never know when a situation comes and, and, and you need to know that he's the Jehovah Rock. You never know when a situation comes and you need to know that he's Jehovah Shabbat. You never know when a situation comes and you need to know that he's the Lord of Lords. And you never know when a situation comes and you need to know that he's the King of Kings. So what I do is every time I get a chance, I practice his name. I realize that he's the great high priest. I realize that he is the King of Kings. I realize that he is the Lamb of God. I realize that he's the light of the world. So it ain't nothing wrong with walking around reciting the names of God. Because there's strength in recognizing the names of God. There's strength in recognizing the message of the covenant. There's strength in realizing our Passover land. There's strength in realizing his name is resurrection and life. There's strength in realizing that he's the savior of the world. I remember what time. This guy was trying to argue with me. He was trying to convince me to do something else. He was trying to convince me to go another way. He was trying to convince me that my God was wrong. He was trying to convince me that, that, that I didn't know what I was talking about. And after he got through talking to me about 30 minutes, I said, can I say one thing? He said, what you, know, what you talking about, just one thing? I said, I just want to say one thing. I said, does your God say? Does your, does your God say? Because my God is the Savior of the world. He said, see that you brainwash. I say, no, I just got my mind made up. <laughs> I got my mind made up. Y'all know that song. I got my mind made up to serve the Lord. The more I call his name, the better I feel. The more it happens in my life. See, because let me tell y'all, let me tell you something from experience. I'm almost getting ready to close now. See, when you memorize his names, when you say his names all the time, you got obstacles in your life to come up that all you got to do is say his name. You know how folks be name dropping? Now I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> the Bible said that the demons flee at the name of Jesus. See, 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 you calling names that they ain't scared of. <laughs> you calling names that they don't recognize. My dad get a call on the name of Jesus. See, 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 I'm so crazy. Sometimes I say, I'm going to tell Big Brother. I'm going to tell Big Brother, you better leave me alone. See, because see, I ain't so holy. I'm going to tell you that some crazy stuff come in my head sometimes. Doubt come in my head sometimes. Disappointment come in my head sometimes. But I'm like that song. He said, I must tell Jesus all of my trouble. Sometimes I remember. Y'all, I'm trying to close. Sometimes I remember when, when, when the enemy was messing with Jesus. And the Bible said the ministering angels came to him. I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, I want to know how that feels. I, I want to know what you went through with that. And you know God did that for me. It was all kinds of stuff going on. And y'all, as sure as I'm standing here, the voice came whispering in my ear and ministered to that situation. I said, that's what a minister named to do. And it was exact what it was talking about. And the reason why I know it wasn't us, you know I folks say, well, that could have been just you talking to yourself. That could have been something else. Because they ended it with the name of Jesus. The name of Above all other names. The name that demons tremble at. The name that saves. It's a good thing. 
to know his name. But, 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 but not just know his name. Know that the greatest miracle is salvation. It's not cars flipping over and you're not having a scratch. It's not you had a disease and now the doctors can't find it. The greatest miracle is salvation. And what I've been saying for some time now, and I keep on saying the greatest value is your soul. What would it profit a man to gain the whole world? Y'all, you know that's a whole lot, y'all. Gain the whole world and lose his soul. The greatest miracle of salvation, the greatest value is your soul. That's why the greatest tragedy is to die and not be saved. I never will forget. My mama said, never will forget as long as I live as I'm afraid she would use. A mama that was crying at a funeral service because she didn't know if her child was saved. She said, that's what got me worried because I don't know if he was saved. I don't know if he accepted him as saved. I always was trying to get him to church and he wouldn't come. But let me tell y'all something that a lot of preachers won't say. Sometimes we got to get them to the cross first. Sometimes they ain't coming to the building. Sometimes you got to watch them bring the building to them. Because the Bible says that the church is in us. Am I saying you're not supposed to go to the building? Am I saying you're not assembly? The Bible says in Hebrews 10, 25, forsake not the assembly. I'm not saying that. But sometimes you need to have strength enough. You need to have encourage enough to tell your story. To tell about what he's done for you. To tell how he set you free. Because don't none of us know when it's going to be our last breath. So don't keep on trying to get them to go to church. And you ain't talking about the cross. Because when they get to the church, if it's a Bible church, they got to come to the cross anyway. That just makes it for them. See, I'm one of those preachers that believe everybody don't get saved at church. Sometimes you might be at your house. Sometimes you might be in your car. Sometimes you might be at, at, at your place of business, anywhere. But get them to the cross. Because the greatest decision is not if you're going to live in a gated community. It's not the other things that we think are so important. It's, it's why you're going to spend eternity. Why are you going to spend eternity? The greatest opportunity is to accept him as Savior. Because the greatest sacrifice has already been made. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Greatest miracle Greatest decision, greatest value, greatest tragedy, greatest opportunity, yours to accept or reject. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, thank y'all so much for y'all attention. I hope we understand the value of knowing the names of God. And that was just a few. If there's a such thing as spare time, which I don't have a lot of spare time, sometimes I just go over his names because his name is so powerful and so great. The greatest miracle is not limbs growing, it's not people being in car accidents and the car flip over and they don't have a scratch. The greatest Miracle is salvation. Greatest miracle. Greatest miracle. That's why I believe the greatest value is your soul. The Bible says, what would it profit a man to gain the whole world? That's a lot, y'all. Gain the whole world and lose the soul. Greatest miracle of salvation, the greatest value is your soul. The greatest tragedy is to die and not be saved. 
once appointed man to die and after death judgment, where will you spend eternity? That's the greatest decision you can make. Not what neighborhood you're going to live in, whether it's a gated community, all those kind of things. Are you going to be with Jesus? Oh, preacher say, choose this day. He said, do it while the blood is running warm in your veins. And I was a little boy and didn't understand that, but as I got older and, and, and I learned and stuff, I understood that because I went in the hospitals when the bodies was cold. And I understood. He said, you know what? You got to make that decision before you take your last breath. The song said he's the only way. Only way. Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries presents Are You Ready? An informative written work that breaks down the questions you have always had about the rapture. This informative work is designed to lay out a simple to understand argument using biblical support to get you ready for the rapture. Purchase your copy today by visiting www.bishopkjbrown.org. Click on bookstore link. Now, the question is, are you ready? Hello, guys. Welcome, 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 guys. This is Bishop KJ Brown Ministries. My name is Priscilla Guillory Brown. Some people call me Priscilla. Some people call me Lady P. But this is Priscilla Guillory Brown coming to you with Bishop KJ Brown Ministries. And we have some wonderful, 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 exciting news that's going on in the ministry, guys. This, that we are in need of your help. We need partners in order to help us get the word out about Jesus so that we can share the love of Jesus Christ. We want everyone to be saved and for, for the whole body of Christ to know of Jesus. So guys, we need your help. We need partnerships. We need partnerships at it, at, at the minimum level of $10, $20, $30, $40, and $50 or more of monthly partners in order for us to continue with the word of God. Guess what, guys? You know, like they say on TV, and wait, and wait. We got a special bonus coming to you guys. For everybody, everyone that donates at least $20 or more, you know you're going to get something for free? You're going to get Bishop K.J. Brown a uh, book that he just wrote out called Are You Ready? And there's a word here that says Harpanza. Look it up. It's in the book. I'm not going to tell you what it means, but look it up. But anyway, Bishop has wrote this wonderful book about the rapture. And guys, we need you all to, to, to donate. Every first 100 people that donate at least $20 or more will receive this free book, guys. And guess what else we got going on? 
Bishop K.J. Brown has built his very own radio station. We are so excited and so happy for this radio station, guys. It's going to bless you. I mean, it is phenomenal. It is, how they say, bananas. You're going to go bananas over this station, guys. Bishop Brown will be preaching at every three hours. Is it three hours? It's three, mm -hmm. six, nine, and twelve a.m. and p.m. Around the clock. Three, six, nine, and twelve. Three, six, nine. Just like a cheer. Bishop Brown will be bringing you the word of God. And guess what? It's going to be different messages. It's not going to be the same message you heard at three. It's not going to be the same message you heard at six. It's going to be different messages daily that will be on the radio station. Guys, I mean, Bishop has built this radio station. There's lots of praise and worship. You're going to hear good music, good choir music. You're going to have some contemporary music on there. You're going to have some country music on there. Is it rapping on there too, Bishop? There's going to be raps on there. I mean, guys, Christian raps, it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. But remember to go to www.bishopkjbrown.org in order to get more information about the ministry and also on, on order for you to click on to the radio station. Bishop Brown, go ahead on and take it away from us. Well, I just want to let everybody know that uh, Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries is a, a family of ministries. Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries is Zion Tabernacle Church. Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries is Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries itself. But we also, the way that we do ministry is digital in addition to some one-on-one. -on -one, but we have a radio station and that was something God just dropped in my lap and told me to do. I, I didn't have any experience on how to build a radio station or how to get everything together. But God told me to put the gospel in their hands, put the praise in their hands. And I didn't understand. God gave it to me in a dream. And then I, I, I one day, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it, and I had my phone in my hand. And it came to me. That's what God was talking about. And so... The radio station has it where you can send a prayer request. It, it gives you the link to send in a prayer request. It talks about uh, how you can uh, listen to the messages. I'll let you know that it's at 3, 6, 9, and 12 a.m. and p.m. And then also uh, it talks about, uh, it just talks about Jesus several times a day. And, and, and the thing about it is I wanted some praise, I wanted preaching, and I wanted prayer all in one spot. And God gave all of this for me to do, but we need your help to continue it. Yes. Uh, the radio station, uh, the programming I'm doing, uh, picking out the songs, my wife is helping with that. Uh, I'm doing too. Uh, God just putting a lot of hats on for me in terms of what I'm doing, and I'm enjoying the journey. But I need your help. We need your help. Because what we are, and we are a ministry that believes in building, winning lives, for a coming law. We're not a prosperity theology ministry and all those kind of things. We don't have any kind of gimmicks or anything like that. We just straight up word. Mm -hmm. I preach like that. My wife preaches like that. Storyteller Pastor Simmons preaches like that. We are a word church. We're a word ministry. So I want you to know that we have the radio station. We have the building fund that we're doing because we're going to build a ministry facility. A ministry facility. We're just not building a church. We're beyond that. God showed me beyond that. The ministry facility will have the community center, it will have the worship center, and it will have the administrative offices, and that will be the television production and the radio production. Because what we're doing, we're not, we're not going to stop. We're going to do bigger. Right. We're going to do bigger. Right now, we're on Kingdom Purpose TV. We come on every Sunday at 10 a.m., and we have in the future that it's more stations that we're going to get on because we want to reach the nation. We want to reach the city. We want to reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ because there is no greater value than your soul. I've been saying it for so many years. Uh, I, I, I'm excited about doing this commercial because I really, uh, this, this just a little talking, uh, because I don't really like talking about me, but I love talking about Jesus. And I have a passion for this. I have a love for this. Uh, the television is for you. The radio is for you. The app is for your convenience. We send in Bibles to Africa. We've been sending Bibles to Kenya for quite some time. Uh, uh, we're gonna want to try to continue to do that. I lost uh, contact with the uh, the young man, the pastor, uh, uh, during the pandemic. Uh, we're gonna try to do uh, Kenya again or either Uganda, but we we continued in our commitment to send Bibles to Africa. 
The reason why we stopped is that I didn't want to send Bibles and I didn't know it was getting where it was supposed to go. I didn't want, because I want to be, and we are good stewards over that that you give. My mother, Mother Brown, some of you know her, she always say, bless it and stretch it. And so what I do is I, I believe in what she prayed to bless it and stretch it, but also everyone that gives, it could be a dollar a month, a twenty dollars a month, or whatever it is. Anyone that gives to Bishop K.J. Brown Ministry, Zion Tabernacle Church, I pray over that gift. I do it personally. I do it personally. I pray over that gift. We you we, we do the uh, offering uh, on, on on Sundays. I, I pray the prayer, but I also take those names. I look at that list as it comes, and I pray for those individuals that God will increase them that God will increase what goes into their household because everybody wants to move in. Everybody wants to have more. But what we want to do is think about kingdom. So I want you to give not so much as a percentage gift, but a priority gift because I want you to give to kingdom because God is, hey, he's coming back. Yes. That, that's what this book is about. I never saw... At this point in time in my life, me being able to be a published author, author of Are You Ready? And I didn't know what to write on the first page. I sat with an empty screen, an empty sheet of paper, and I said, God, you show me to do this. You're going to have to show me what to do. And now we got a book. Everything that God has shown me has come to pass. And I believe that God is going to use you for the efforts that continue in what we're doing to build the kingdom. In TV, in radio, in community, in counseling, in church, in everything that we're doing. Zion Tabernacle Church, Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries works hand in hand. 